Hi guys, so today we're going to take a look at the new polls integration into Teams. So by the end of this video you'll know how to add a poll, how to view it in the web browser and some tips on how to link the results to the poll and how to notify your team to fill in the poll as well. I'm Kevin Jones, I'm a Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company and all the tips we've got on YouTube have come out of real life examples. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below to get access to our training deck or just to get a lot of tips written down all in one place. So let's get in and have a look at polls in Teams. Okay, so firstly apologies again for the random camera angle. I'm recording this at the same time I recorded last week's video, which is still uh, around my mum's house without any camera equipment because uh, she's been ill the past couple of days and uh, just around to look after her. So uh, this one will be even more random camera angle because I need to move my phone out of the way of the bottom of my laptop which is propping up my camera to be able to see the screen to click <laughs> the polls uh, thing in Teams. So uh, apologies if it goes a bit wobbly. So we've just set up a new channel called Testing Polls so not to get confused you can set this up in uh, any channel in any team um, when it's been uh, added to your tenant. Um, I'll just move my camera out of the way slightly, see if this is going to work. Um, right, I can see the screen now, which is, uh, which is helpful. So what we're talking about is if you come to the bottom, you might think I've got quite a few different icons that you might not see. Um, that's because when you start using one of the apps in these three dots, um, it gets added to your sort of bottom row of icons. So I think you might have up to meet now um, if you haven't used anything else. Uh, the stream, uh, praise, which uh, we've not done a video on, but uh, it's quite useful, I think. Uh, and then there's random ones like YouTube links. You can search YouTube and post that in for you, places, Bing, News, uh, Wikipedia, etc. We're going to add a poll, which is suggested app uh, as forms. Um, and if you've never used Forms in Office 365 before, that's really useful in itself and does a full-fledged uh, form. I guess a bit like Google Forms uh, or Survey Monkey, that sort of thing. The Forms option in Teams via the chat menu, which is this, this bottom box we just did, is just to do a very, very quick sort of poll, which is why I guess why it's called uh, create a new poll rather than do a whole new poll. Um, whole questionnaire, uh, so just one question and put as many options as you like. Um, and we're just going to do a random test question, I'll just type it with one hand now because I'm holding my camera. Um, so we can say something like, do you like this feature? Because it's already suggested some options for us. So. So you can add as many options as you want people to click in your form. Uh, but it's got yes, no, or maybe, so uh, I think those sound good ones. So we'll add all of those, and that's filled in the options for us. If you wanted to add another option, you just click add option and add something in. Uh, and if you don't like something, you just click the bin icon and delete it. Which you can turn multiple answers on or off there. Um, but it's supposed to be a light sort of poll, so that's uh, pretty much everything you can do with it. Click next and it's going to show us a preview of what that's going to look like in Teams. So it does like an adaptive uh, card uh, and it's a preview of the card you're sending. So it says who's created it. Um, it's going to say results are visible to any, everybody and names are recorded, which is what Forms does by default. Uh, in the main Forms app you can turn that off, but uh, I don't think you can in this uh, little poll. Um, and then we're going to send it into our team. It takes a few seconds to generate. And then that's going to post in like two posts for us via forms. Look. Um, and it says that's the card that we just created. So I've created a poll. Do you like this feature? Uh, I can vote on it as well, but so can anyone else in the team, obviously. And it posts another 
post another card with all the responses on, which I think is really cool. So if we come up and click yes and submit the vote, then it's going to automatically update the results form for us, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I thought actually it's going to allow me to keep voting, but it does know, actually it records the names, it does know who you are when you're submitting it, and if you submit again, it just changes your options and add on to it, which is uh, useful. So you see in the results that it's changed my yes to a no. Um, I'll put it back to yes, because I do like this feature actually. Just a quick of, couple of quick tips. Obviously you can, can reply to any of these posts. Um, and if you just posted the poll into your team, then as we've said in the basic training, if you don't now mention someone, assume that no one's going to see it. So what we want to probably do is um, go and out mention the channel and say that that, that poll's there and we want people to fill it in. So you might notice that when we click reply, it's, it's added an out mention to forms for us because you can like chat to the forms bot. Um, so you can say, what can I do? Or you can even at forms and do a little poll um, just by typing some text in, um, which is that your question, option one, option two. Um, so we're going to get rid of forms and we're going to say at channel. Okay, that's there. Um, hey everyone, come on to fill. Um, so that's a good little tip just to get people into your form and filling it in. Um, second little tip is I guess that this results uh, card could sort of get lost in the hierarchy of um, messages. So if you didn't know already, you can get a link to any other post. So we're going to copy the link from the results post and we're just going to add it to our message in the poll card. So you can put, check out the results here and then paste the link. So when you paste a link to another post it sort of does it like this. So it says who's done the post and all of this stuff that we probably don't want. So we can tidy that hyperlink up a bit. If we controls. So if we pop that open, you can go on the hyperlink and click this link button. Um, other ways to do control K, which is the same on any uh, document. And if we change that to here, we can just tidy up how that link looks a little. There we go. Click that. So then people have got app mentioned to come into the poll to see it can answer the poll and then if the results ever get lost, I've got a link back to the results and then click here. It's going to load the results up for us so everyone can see what's, uh, what's going on, how their results influence the score. Okay, and then we've just jumped into the forms sort of web app. Um, if you've never used that, that's available via your, via your waffle menu or forms.office.com and any other form that we've made, like a main form, is visible here. If you've never used forms before, you can do quizzes and loads of stuff that I'd recommend checking out rather than using any third, third party sort of um, survey thing so that it's, it integrates into your uh, ecosystem a little, a little bit better. Um, and you can see the polls that um, we set up. So I did a testing poll before I started recording, and then this poll from uh, the one that we've just done. And you here you can see uh, a bit more information than you can directly into Teams. It's saying it's read only because obviously we, we created it in Teams, it doesn't want you to sort of split the functionality by adding stuff that's not supported. Um, but in the uh, responses, then you can see a bit more information. So, how much time to complete, which is useful when you're doing a big form. Probably not useful for lip holes, it's going to be like. <laughs> Hope people don't spend too much long deliberating over uh, over that poll. Um, but then you can go and review the results. So when it says that it's recorded the person's name, you can go back through and see uh, who's responded to each one, which um, is useful if you want to group stuff up, which I wouldn't recommend 
sharing everyone's responses with everybody. Um, so it's less likely to fill in your poll, potentially. Um, but as the person that's generated the poll, you could then go and download this to Excel, uh, which you can do via this menu. Um, and then if you've got any other HR data, you could group all the people into you know, this area, uh, this was the results, this area, this was the results, etc. So hope that was useful. Remember to give the video a like if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already. To get notified every time I release a new video on Teams, which comes out every single Tuesday. If you haven't already, click the download link in the description below to get access to our training deck. And then lastly, at me time, we think there's better ways of running meetings. We've got a timer app in the iOS App Store to help you search for me time or visit www.metimeapps.com if you want any more information. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.